Big Sky, Montana. One hour south of Bozeman, one hour north of Yellowstone National Park, with a history and presence all its own. It's funny how places get their start. All across Montana, communities lie scattered, but each one unique in its own right. Over a hundred years ago, ranches in the Big Sky area started rising up in the canyon and offshoot valleys. What's interesting about the land here is there's not much of it to till due to the treacherous terrain, and so the population grew slowly. Those settlers braved the snowy winters for the reward of beautiful, rugged forests, mountains, and meadows. They created the foundation for what has developed into the community today, and their land stays proud today. The rich history of Big Sky lives today through the Crail Ranch, Lone Mountain Ranch, 320 Ranch, and others whose land sits beneath the hills and under the high mountain sun. They maintain their heritage while growing with the modern culture to share with visitors the root of the Montana way of life. Each year, millions are drawn through the Great Gallatin River Canyon in search of adventure, relaxation, or simple craving to reconnect with the natural world. They drive through in every season with trailers, racks, skis, snowmobiles, and harvested elk. Other visitors come from the south, fresh out of the world's oldest national park or beyond. Regional travelers who are looking for a new perspective that the top of the mount can provide. International explorers seeking open space, natural wonders, and wild animals or our neighbors stopping by to swap stories on their way through town. Lone Mountain watches over all as it has always done. It sits alone, humbling all, and painting an Olympic backdrop, cradling the meadows and the shadow of its towering peak. pride existing in this place sets it apart. Maybe it's the survival instinct that intertwines the people around here together. In recent years, we've had folks mesh their talents and resources to scratch a cultural surface and discover new ways to bring out the best in our town. This summer, a few of the folks got together and brought in a group of professional bull riders. To do this, they had to scrape the sagebrush of the hardened, unsettled dirt and create a temporary stadium to put athletes on display. They put their names on the line to try and do something big, and they pulled it off. To have the, the Montana Cowboy Hall of Fame here in Big Sky would just be huge for the area. We've got all the infrastructure for resort and destination communities right here in the little town of Big Sky, just 45 miles south of Bozeman. Really great western heritage in Big Sky, and I think that this facility will, will bring that out. There's a long history of western culture in the Gallatin Canyon with the dude ranches that go way back to the advent of uh, Yellowstone National Park. As the crow flies, we're maybe eight miles to the entrance of Yellowstone Park. We would be able to, to generate huge traffic in the summer and the winter, and that's, and that's really a key part. Uh, it's a great year-round destination. The biggest skiing. We've got the best fly fishing. We've got the best golf courses. The number of visitors in the wintertime and summertime uh, that get out and explore the activities. In the wintertime, there's obviously skiing, snowshoeing, uh, cross-country skiing, dog sledding, some great activities, but there's always a day or two they're looking for something else to do. They're looking for some culture of Montana. Uh, as part of their vacation, what a great way to get it than to have the, the Cowboy Hall of Fame here. The community has made a name for itself by banding together and showing what it means to take pride in your work, your family, and your town. We've pledged it time over time, and we're on to the next one.
They'd like to harness Montana's cultural history and put it on display for people from all over the world, hoping that they come away with a new appreciation for the cowboy way of life, our collective Montana Western heritage, and American Indian cultures. We will take pride in where we've come from, no matter how the world changes, because when you find a place like this, you build on it. Thank you for watching.